Hey, yo, welcome back to the blog. And there's definitely a pep in my step. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we promised you a special guest, and I'm so, so, so excited because he's like my best friend in my head. <laughs> yeah, because what he does, I love. Please welcome back again, <laughs> Chef Eros. Yay! Yay! We this love having you. You guys are too here. kind to me. Wow. <laughs> no, you're you're kind nice to us. To us. Look yes, at the big bag are. you brought us. Yes. I know, right? Wow. <laughs> the moment you walked in, there was a big smile plastered <laughs> on our faces. It was unreal, honestly. So, in case you don't know, uh, Chef Eros is the uh, head chef and the owner of Cookie Jar and Eros Gourmet. Eros and Gourmet. Or Eros and Gourmet. Oh, wow. mm. Eros and gourmet. <laughs> so yes, he doesn't just bake mm, good goodies and, whew, gosh, okay, yes. So yeah, they bake, they cook, everything concerning food. Yeah. He's the man. And now we start beverages. Oh, oh yeah, well, that's then. Why we have yeah. Well done. Yes. Well done. Exactly. So cool. So cool. Yeah. Thank mm. you. So the store is finally open. Finally open. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. Oh, feels so good. Congrats. It's stressful though, because <laughs> I, I guess I didn't figure out that being on Admiralty Way was going to be hectic for my production, especially, um, because in in the past we would we had more supply than demand, but now it's been flipped upside down. Mm. I, the demand is ridiculous. Um, we've moved from our original space, which was in 1004 as well, yeah. uh, mm. because about three weeks into um, our opening of the store, we, had, we were opening the store in about three weeks, we had some issues with our current location and we figured, you know what, let's try and see if we can actually move to a bigger space because we never know, we might move, might open Admiralty Way and figure out that there's no way we can actually do this operation from 1004. And in about three weeks, we turned out a new location. Wow. Um, 1004 was about 40 square meters. This mm. is about 165 wow, square that's meters. Wow. Yeah, and even at that, management is currently saying that we need to expand again. Okay. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you sound like it's overwhelming. Or it is. It is. We we're hiring people all the time now. We're we're firing people because they can't deal with the <laughs> pressure. It's ridiculous. You know, there's constantly people like complaining about their deliveries being late, and there's mm. there's a number of issues that yeah. we're facing. You know, yeah. but um, yeah, yeah I, I really can't wait for for um, for everything to settle in. You know? Yeah, um, this is like the teething phase, and I can't wait for everything to settle in. Honestly, the excitement. I know there's something else responsible for that, as you explained to us when you walked in. But yes. apart from that, the excitement is real. You can almost touch it, and it's just you know, I saw in one of your boxes saying um, proudly Nigerian, and yes. even I felt yes. proud, even though yeah. I didn't make it. Yeah. The fact that it's a Nigerian product and mm -hmm. the excellence and the Attention to detail is, is yeah. exceptional. That, that Even as a matter of fact, in our wage structure, attention to detail takes 30% of your salary. Mm. If you do not mm. have attention to detail, you're not going to get a full pay. Wow. Because at the end of the day, we found that in the past, Nigerian products have been very substandard. And we're a brand that's all about Nigeria, all mm. about expanding our our product range. You know, mm. um, at the moment, like, you said already that, I'm, uh, that you can feel the buzz. Yeah. I've been tasting so much coffee today. Yeah, <laughs> let's talk about this coffee. Speaking, yeah, of, yeah. speaking of being Nigerian. Nigerian. Yes. So this is like Nigerian coffee. It is Nigerian coffee. I never knew that coffee yeah. was actually being grown here in the far For north. Real? Yes, in the wow. far north, they actually grow coffee. So what we've been doing in the last couple of weeks is we've been trying to blend coffee. So mm -hmm. Nigerian coffee is not the the most vast when it comes to the flavor. It's 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 a very mild coffee. Mm -hmm. So what we've done as at today we finally selected our blend, which is a blend of Nigerian and Ethiopian coffee. Wow. It's wow. it's it's more Nigerian than Ethiopian, mm. but it's still it's smooth. It's it's it's. I think it's a perfect coffee for a Nigerian mm. because <laughs> Nigerians are not huge on, on their coffee. coffee. Yes. But there's also a few of us that like quality yes. coffee. Mm -hmm. You know, so we've been able to m get a blend that is not so heavy, mm. but at the same time, it has it also has a sweet note as well, which is coming from the Ethiopian yeah, blend. Yeah, I love And it. did you know that coffee is actually a, 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 the seed of a fruit? Really? Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's Can actually know that. right <laughs> in the middle. It's a seed of a cherry fruit. Oh, wow. And, and it goes through a fantastic process, which I learned, I learned this week and today. So there are companies that um, specialize in producing the seed? Yes, or, there's um, one particular the company that specializes in, in, in acquiring the seeds and proce mm -hmm. processing it and actually, um, what's it called, roasting the coffee yeah. mm -hmm. and then even blending. And then what we do then is we come in, we select our own blends, we taste, mm -hmm. we get high on coffee. 
nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we, finally, we finally select the blend that works for us and then we package and it. start selling. Yeah. Okay, the um, before we... Uh, really lovely, yeah. Wow. <laughs> we weren't supposed to go into the whole interview section now, but it's a fantastic job you're doing. Well done. <laughs>